Hello Internet, it is me, the Anime Avenger, and today I'll be talking about something near and dear to my heart. Cosplay. So, I've recently noticed something that can make or break a cosplay for a girl. And the thing is, ladies, <laughs> for the most part, we can't play guys without a little help. Especially if we're busty, like I am, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Honestly, big chests are terrible, especially when you're trying to play a guy. <laughs> so, last week I did some research, and on Wednesday, I went out and I bought myself a binder. The one that I got is this. It is a gray half tank from GT Suit. Bleh. Forget what I just said gc2b.com uh, so I ordered it Wednesday of last week and it came on Saturday um, I just finished filming when heroes collide with my good friend Elizabeth uh, and I went to walk her home and then when I came back it was here so I went inside and I ripped open the package and the first thing I noticed was holy shit this thing is soft I swear it's like stretchy silk and so this is what the inside looks like and so really quickly um, if you're trying to compress your chest which is what a binder does do not ever use ace bandages or duct tape because they can hurt you they can break a rib they can suffocate you they can give you severe lung complications from being too tight and not allowing your uh, your rib cage to move like it should uh, do not ever do that because I love you guys too much to ever let you get hurt like that um, but a binder is a safe way to compress your chest for cosplay um, or any other reason that you don't want your chest like it normally is um, Binders are safe unless you get the wrong size, so make sure that you use the website that you're buying from. Use their measuring guide, because if you don't, you will get the wrong size and it will hurt. Binders should not hurt. This is my first one, but I know, like, if I had gotten any lower than what I had gotten, it would have hurt. <laughs> Uh, this is a large, and if I had gotten a medium, I I would be in a lot of pain. Okay, so normally, you'd put a binder on under a tank top, and the best way to put them on is with a sports bra on under it, uh, because it's easier to uh, separate your chest in a way that makes it look normal. But for modesty's sake, I'm putting it on over a tank top. So we'll also be able to see it a little bit better. Um, so what I found the easiest way is if it doesn't have convenient zippers, like some of them do, or snaps or Velcro or whatever. Um, so here's the head hole and the arms. So put your arms through and then pull it up as far as you can stretch it over your head and then wiggle into it usually it's easier to pull down from the back first and then work your way around it and then maneuver your chest inside of it uh, it's normal to go and like move your chest around to make it uh, flatten out a little bit more um, so that's what it looks looks like from the side much more of a guyish uh, guyish form than before just makes me look like I have muscles which I don't have um, I'll pull on a shirt so you can see how it looks uh, there's the other side view how it looks um, with a shirt on so it looks like I have no chest, which is exactly what we've been going for. 
Um, so, uh, I really recommend GC2B. Their binders are <laughs> extremely comfortable. They come very quickly in the mail. Um, I ordered it on Wednesday and I got it Saturday at like 3 o'clock. And it was incredible. They shipped the next day. <sighs> like, I checked Thursday, uh, Thursday evening at about the same time as I ordered it. And it had already been shipped out of Maryland and was en route to me. So, and I live on the other side of the country. So, very much recommend it. They're extremely soft. The only thing I would have done differently is I think I probably would have gotten a tank, like a full, full shirt instead of just the half because this one can kind of be seen in some shirts, uh, just the edge of it, but I'm sure, like right here, I'm sure it could be solved by folding it, but uh, it's something really nitpicky. And then to get it off, it's pretty simple. Uh, to get it off, just pull up one arm at a time, and then over your head. So, I adore the binder that I got. It's incredible. It's made a huge change for me. Um, and it's so comfortable. That was my biggest thing. And I love it. It'll be great for cosplays. Um... Uh, people also use binders when they're, you know, uncomfortable with how they look. Um, I love it. <laughs> Truthfully, I am not transgender, nor will I probably ever be. But I can definitely see why they would choose to use a binder, because it works. And so... <laughs> If there are any of you out there, GC2B is a little expensive, but it's totally worth it. I spent a total of almost $37 on it, including shipping, and I would not hesitate to pay it again. I wouldn't, and I'm very stingy when it comes to money. I don't like spending, but I wouldn't hesitate. And... Whether you're getting it for cosplay or you just don't feel comfortable having a chest, having a large chest, get a binder. Um, just know how to use it properly. Measure yourself properly. Explore your options. There are, uh, there are foundations out there that will uh, hold auctions. They'll donate binders to those who can't afford them. Look. That's all I can tell you. Uh, I checked Amazon. I checked eBay. There were some that just... Uh, they had been said that they work for cosplay and stuff, but it... I have a large chest, uh, sad to say. And so I didn't think any of those would work for me. But then I got this one uh, from GC2B, and I love it. Um, many other cosplayers have also recommended Underworks. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, maybe I will in the future. But, uh, for now, I think I'm going to stick with GC2B because it's extremely comfortable. I love it. After a while, you just forget you have it on. And it's great. Um... So hopefully that'll help when I come to when it comes to me filming more cosplay videos in the future. Um, I think that's all I've got to you for now. I will put a link in the description for GC2B. Um, good luck, and I'll talk to you later, Internet. Bye.